Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. I'm out here on the boat trying to straighten up some stuff with my tackle box. It's hot. <clears throat> but uh, today I wanted to address something that some of you have not even noticed and some of you have. Depends on what where you're from. So if you're from the south, I guarantee you, you have noticed that I wear Georgia shirts and I wear Alabama shirts. And if you're from the south, you know that that's weird. That's not normal. Um, and I want to make sure before football season starts, because it's coming up in about three weeks, that... Um, None of you freak out uh, over me liking two teams. When I grew up, you know, here's the way it works. When you're, when you're, when you live in the South, if you're not from here, you have to pick a team. And you have to pick a team pretty much before you're in high school. So, and once you pick them, you stick, it's like getting married. Once you pick them, you stick with them for, from now on. And if they win every year, great. You got a good team. If they lose every year, you got you got to cheer for them. You can't quit cheering for your team, no matter how bad they are, no matter how hopeless the future looks. Uh, Tennessee fans, no matter how hopeless the future looks. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't get mad, Tennessee. I'm just just poking poking there. Uh, but anyway, no matter how bad the future looks, you stick with your team, and that's the rule. So, when I was a kid, uh, my mom was from Alabama, where we live was close to Alabama. You know, most of the press coverage I got where I lived came out of uh, Tennessee, and they covered Tennessee and Alabama. So, I picked Alabama, naturally, because, you know, it makes sense to pick, you know, your mama's. You know, my dad's family didn't really cheer for football that much, so I picked Alabama. And then later on, I went to the University of Georgia, uh, because I couldn't go out of state to Alabama, I couldn't afford to pay. Um, the amount of money that it would cost for me to go out of state. So, um, you know, I started off at one college and then ended up at the University of Georgia. And when I went to the University of Georgia, I would wear Alabama stuff to class. And people would say, why are you wearing Alabama sweatshirt? Man, this is Georgia. And I'm like, well, I like Alabama. And, of course, you know, I ended up liking Georgia, too, because that's my alma mater. And that's kind of another rule. You cheer for your alma mater. So I've stuck with both those rules and I have liked both those teams since I got out of college and I liked Alabama since I was old enough to know to pick a team and it's like anything else you know it's like you know with your wife if somebody you know people are serious about it here and it's, I mean it's a big deal now you, you I mean like yesterday I was walking down the beach and I had on a Georgia shirt and I had two different people stop me and say something about my shirt and they're going to say stuff. I mean, people are going to say things here. Uh, and if you notice, like on my um, YouTube, if I wear an Alabama shirt, you know, people will come on and go, Roll Tide, you know. <laughs> or they'll go, Go Dogs, you know. If you, and other people in other parts of the country might look at that and go, Why are they doing that, you know. Why does he care if they like Alabama? It's because that's your team, you know. Uh, but anyway, two different people said something to me about my shirt yesterday. And... Um, I mean, they get they, they just get wound up. It's like if somebody says something, and, and people get mad. Like if somebody says something about your wife, you know, you, you take up for her. Well, if somebody says something about my team, now I've got I got to take up for them, you know. And what's bad is sometimes you want to take up for them and you can't because they're not any good. <laughs> and then it's really frustrating. Uh, but now I'm not one of these people that gets mad and kicks in my TV screen and, you know, shoots it and gets mad and screams and hollers. You know, and all that kind of stuff. And I don't scream and holler when they win. I, I expect them to win. I want them to win. But I don't get all super emotional about it. Um, you know, and lose sleep and all that kind of stuff. But now, I, you know, like I said, and so what, what, what you're probably looking at me now, you're probably saying, so you're saying this is like having two wives. Because you said it's like getting married. And it is. It's like I got two wives. I love them both. They're both different. But... I got two wives. I got Alabama and I got Georgia. And that's not a regular situation. So, 
now that I think of it that way, that's pretty weird. Something for y'all to think about. So, when we get to college football season, don't, you know, be trying to hunt me down and shoot me because I said something about your team and I was joking around or because you didn't like it because I got an Alabama shirt on and, you know, and all that kind of junk. So, just keep your emotions in check, people from the South. Um, we know it's coming up in three weeks, and I don't, need, I don't need people calling me out and saying, Hey, 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 I just started watching your channel, and last week you had on an Alabama shirt, and this week you got on a Georgia shirt, because that's bandwagon, and nobody wants to be a bandwagon. Y'all know what a bandwagon person is? That's a person that really doesn't like any team, and then the team that's real good, I, I like them. And then when they quit being good and another team comes along and they're good, they like them. So that's like, you know, Every time something goes wrong, you divorce your wife, get you a new wife. And they say, I divorce her and I get me a new No, you shouldn't do that either. You stick with the one you got. I just have to. Two thumbs up. One for each team. Have a good day. Nichols Retirement Empire.